Former Top Gear host Jeremy Clarkson has lashed out at the Red Tractor campaign after it announced plans to become more environmentally friendly in his new book Jeremy Clarkson has launched a scathing attack on the Red Tractor campaign's push for eco-friendliness. In his latest book, Diddly Squat, Home to Roost, the ex-Grand Tour host delves into the initiative by the Assured Food Standards, ASA, expressing his disdain for its new environmentally focused direction. The 64-year-old broadcaster criticized the move to turn the red tractor symbol green, stating, Out of the blue, the little red tractor announced it had designs on becoming green. It unveiled a scheme whereby farmers would have to prove that they were not only clean and well-organized but as eco-friendly as a butterfly. He continued with a touch of sarcasm about the stringent requirements. It's perfectly fine. Really, for Red Tractor to make sure I'm not selling spring onions that have been fertilized with cocaine, but it's not fine to insist that before I get my accreditation I'll need to prove that, underneath the overalls and the beanie, I'm Greta B. Asterisk 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 Y. Thunberg. Jeremy, whose diddly squat farm and subsequent farming program Clarkson's Farm have become international sensations, also laid into didn't hold back in his critique of environmentalists either likening their persistence to lava and taking a jab at wildlife presenter Chris Packham. He said, Colin, the inspector, will be gone and, in his place, we are going to get one of those pink-haired lunatics who spend the morning throwing soup at paintings and is now in a pair of wellies made from him, stomping around the farm telling me to comply with a load of stuff she read about in an XR pamphlet. And now there's a threat that I'm going to have Chris Packham coming round my farm every 15 minutes saying that I'll be effectively frozen out of the marketplace until I build a kindergarten for the farm's baby earwigs and machine gun all my cows.